get out the house, go fish. We are at Fort George Inlet, me and Katie here, and uh, we're here right at sunrise. Good morning. So let's get out there and see if we can catch anything today. Fish on. Right now. Let's see what this is. I can't even tell what this is right now. I can't even see it. But it looks like a blue. Or a catfish. It's a damn catfish. Got me all tangled up, this damn catfish. Yeah, got me all tangled up too. Tangled up all my line. Yep, one of them days. One, I'm having one of them days. <laughs> Here we go. Nice blue tail. All right. Here we go, buddy. All right. So catfish and a red today, but it's a little dink. It was way under. I didn't even measure it because I knew it was way under. All right. So they bit the gulp. And let me tell you, this gulp ripple mullet, uh, this is what I used when I caught my first red. So I know they like this. Man, it was a blue. Blue's jumping. I just put a new one on. I just put the, one of these mirror lures on just now, huh? Just I just put a new one on. Look at that. Oh yeah, I got them good, good too. It's a good size, good size blue. Yep. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, oh gone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> man, oh man, this guy's big. Might be one of the bigger bluefish I've ever caught. It's like 19, right at 19. Shoot. Yeah. He's right at 19. Look at that guy. Man, oh man. Big old blue fish. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. First thing you should do before you rig up a new, rig up a new lure, after you catch a blue fish or, I'd say any fish uh, that has some type of teeth or prone to, to cut you off Let's check the check the line see if it's frayed anywhere right here on the end it's already frayed from from this catch now if i would have not paid any attention do that back do that back out there it's frayed a little bit up here too but right there definitely so i'm gonna change uh i'm just gonna cut the line and retie it So what I'm coming back here for is I'm trying to see if there's some flounder back here. Because bait fish tend to hang out back here. So I'm thinking maybe a, uh, a flounder would come back here uh, for some ambushing. And see, uh, as you can see, Bait fish. Look, all these bait fish. So yeah, there's plenty of bait fish back here. It's just so that's what I'm hoping for is uh, some predator fish come back here, either redfish or you know I got that blue, but uh, hoping for some flounder today. Oh, got something. We're gonna see what this is. Twisting me up. This guy. I don't know what this is, but it's big. Whatever it is. Got something big. I don't know what it is. A nice jack. Look at this guy. problems here he's a fighter oh I got him oh my gosh I was a big old jack <laughs> oh shoot <laughs> my dad's messing up on me what's the deal here Check this guy out. Who was a big old jack? Nice size jack. All right, I think we're gonna take him home. 
and uh, try them out. I never had a Jack before. Jack Craval, I never had Jack, so. <laughs> go have some Jack. That's a nice size, too. Uh, the wind's kicked up. The water's gotten rough. So, it's about noon. We stayed about an hour later than we, what we're gonna stay. So we're gonna go ahead and head back now. So, almost had three keepers with that black drum. Uh, it was an inch under, but we're taking home a blue and this Jack Craval. Had blue multiple times with the Jack. We've never had the Jack before. Uh, ooh, there's a bunch of bait fish right here. So, uh, it's gonna be like a catch and cook today with the Jack Craval and see how, uh, see how he tastes. Ooh, lots and lots of bait fish right here. Wow. Nice. All right. Once again, thank y'all for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please do hit the like button, comment below, and uh, till next time.